I'm going to show you how to modify a DLL or an EXE. The problem is you can't just open a DLL file in Notepad and then change the data directly. I'm going to show you how to do this using hexed.it, which is a really cool online tool for hex editing. You can upload your file, modify it, and then save the result without downloading an application to your computer. So the file we're going to be editing today is called Guidec plugin.dll. It's a Rocket League plugin and it's really great for this example. Once we make a modification to the DLL file, we'll be able to see that change immediately. Right now I have this plugin installed. I installed it from a zip and I chose it right here. Guidec plugin. After it refreshes, you can see the little window over here. Well, what I want to change about this window is the text down here. And well, I can't just edit the code because it's already been compiled. So that leaves us with only one option to modify the previously compiled DLL. So the most natural thing anyone would try is to open this file in Notepad and then you would search for Guidec. And you can can find that text right here where it says v1.4 plugin by Guidec. If you just delete this and save it, when you try to include the plugin again, it's just going to crash. So we're not going to be using Notepad to edit this file. We're going to load it up in hexed.it. So the first thing I did was open up hexed.it. Once that's open, you want to import your DLL file. So this is what it looks like once the file is open. And as you can see over here, we have the same text that was in our Notepad. This is just a text rendering of of the bytecode. So what we want to do is search the text for the text that we want to remove. Once we find that spot where it says v1.4 by Guidec, what you would do to change that text is to come over here in the center and say I've got 76 selected which actually means v. So I'm just going to hit 0 0 0 0 0 0 and 0 0 and that's going to zero everything out. Then you can come over here to plug in and do the same thing. And just like that we've erased almost everything. I'm going to keep erasing and we're done. After you change that you can click save as and say my new plugin coming back to Rocket League I'm going to disable our Guidec plugin and after that I'm going to refresh the list and now we see our new plugin and there you go so now, thanks to us erasing the text using the hex editor, the text isn't there anymore. Personally, I'm going to try and figure out how to change the size of this text box next, but if you just want to change some text inside a game for whatever reason, this is an easy way to do it. The tricky part is just finding out the values that you actually want to modify. In my case, I was looking for specific text, so I was able to search for it. I really do recommend this hexed.it site. It was really easy for me to upload my file, make the changes over here, save it, and then load it into Rocket League. If you want to modify an exe or a dll that's really all there is to it i hope this helps and if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments below thanks for watching and have a great day